Hello. Hey. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm fine. Nice What's your name? You. My name is Robert. Robert. Yes. I'm Terry. Nice, nice to, to meet you. Terry. Thank you. Would you like to step in my van? <laughs> I'll step in your van. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thanks you for <laughs> joining me. Oh uh, no, thank you for having you, me. Do I, you have something that's I mean uh, newly moving and Yeah, well the thing is, um I did have a question and okay. if there's anybody that asked this question, maybe it might be Terry. Oh, okay, <laughs> sure. I, that sounds perfect. Okay. What so is it? uh like I said, I just moved here from Atlanta. Uh -huh. Um I'm thirty one years old. Okay. And uh for the last I wanna say about five and six months, I've been dating a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. She's forty seven oh. and the, I really like her, you know, she really likes me, and I'm kind of nervous to introduce her to family or friends, especially because I have very, three very protective sisters, and okay. my mom is not that much older than, you know, her. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out, first of all, what do you think about wow. an age gap like that in a relationship? Oh, God. And what type of advice do you have for Oh, me? my God. <laughs> I, like, I'm, I really, I am the right person okay, to see, talk yeah, to you about yeah, yeah. this. I'm sweating. I, like, I don't think you're going to like my answer, but, okay. And the truth is, like, this is just coming from me, yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah, okay? So I could be wrong. Okay, okay. But you did ask. Okay, I did ask. So I'm going to tell you my opinion. Okay. And then I'm going to talk about it for a little bit and you tell me what you think. Right. So my instinct on it is that it's too big of an age difference yeah. and that you're in two different of life places. I feel, oh, I just feel horrible saying this because <laughs> you, I mean, the fact that you led was she's a beautiful woman yeah, and yeah, amazing. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's just so like every woman wants a guy to feel that way mm -hmm. about her. So I don't want to take that away from you, but mm -hmm. let me follow through with just the semantics of it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Have you discussed children? Have you thought uh, about it in your own mind, or have you discussed well, it? Well, absolutely. I, I definitely want children, um, and she does have a child already. Okay. Um, but that is something that I kind of think of a lot, you know, because she is an older woman, um, but she, she it's possible to happen. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out and navigate how serious should we go, because I, I'm not the average 31-year-old. You know, I, I have a great job, you know, well-traveled, so it's not like as if she's she's that much older than me in years mm -hmm. but i'm not sure if she's that much older than me mentally and you know okay now i'm just that. like now i'm all over the place <laughs> now i'm just like now i sort of think that there's another side of me that thinks if you're happy and clearly mm -hmm. you're like glowing oh, with wow, love really? about this person okay. i mean okay. i think anyway all either right. that or you're just excited to see me okay. but <laughs> i'm that gonna say no <laughs> i think it's so rare mm -hmm. when you meet someone that gets you and so you feel all that with this mm. person you feel like respected and appreciated and treasured like for yourself all yeah, that yeah. stuff and like I said it's, it's still new it's, it, it yeah. hasn't been going on that long but I right. do you know see great potential wow you know? mm -hmm. okay I'll, 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 I'll follow through with my my perception of the bad news which is I worry and I would worry from her end too right. because I'll just admit about myself like I'm dating mm -hmm. and I'm super conscious about not dating younger guys, even though... Is it because you have not done it before, or is there... I've never dated mm -hmm. a younger guy, meaning like, I've been with oh, a younger right, guy. Dating, dating, gotcha. <laughs> I've been with some yeah, younger yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I've never like had a ongoing year-long relationship, yeah. relationship with anybody mm -hmm. that was that much younger than me, mm -hmm. like 15 years yeah, younger than me. Yeah. And I think my protective feeling, so now I'm kind of speaking from her end, and she may not have these issues at all, so. But no, and that's the thing, I, I, I might have failed to mention that, but she kind of is reserved because of that, and. I would feel, yeah, you know, in my, my fear mm -hmm. base, which I try not to live by, and I try to help people not live by that either, but mm -hmm. my protective thing would say to me that even if you and I were in some amazing relationship for nine years, mm -hmm. you're 40 mm -hmm. and I'm 60 and you're going to leave me. Mm -hmm. Like, because it's just mm -hmm. different life places. Mm -hmm. Like, you, and I would think the children thing. Mm -hmm. You could wait another nine years, longer really, mm -hmm. to have a child. And if you're gonna have a child with this woman, you have to do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't. Know, do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like, yeah. and and those are real, not romantic topics. Huh? Topics. Yeah. But you know, the world could explode tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's kind of this balance between what are the realities? Like asking yourself those questions. Like, okay, 
what happens in five years, you know, or let's say since you're 31, let's make it a round number, in mm-hmm. nine years when you're 40 mm-hmm. and she's 56. Mm-hmm. I mean, part of me thinks if you're mentally and emotionally in this place where you guys have this wonderful thing together, I mean, maybe age is just a number. Mm-hmm. It's probably the children thing mm-hmm. is yeah. probably the most concrete issue. And I didn't even get to like your family yet. I know, right? Uh, I, I mean, you know, if I were your sisters, I, I guess what I would imagine that I would want for you would be for you to have somebody kind of around your age, because mm-hmm. then I feel it's like the, I think about my daughter who's 20, mm-hmm. but I don't know that I would want her with a 32 year old man, mm-hmm. even though my daughter is amazingly mature, mm-hmm. amazingly well rounded and I imagine she could pick the right person for herself. I don't have to be involved in that. But you just think like, oh, you want them to go on this life journey together. And someone who's that much older than you, you know, maybe is in a little bit different of a place. I don't know, I'm kind of talking myself yeah, out of no, it. I'm, not, I'm probably not helping you. <laughs> no, no it, it, like I said, it's something that I thought about as well. Um, but like I said, I'm just taking it one day at a time. You know, we're seeing, we're, we're having... You're having a good time. Having a good time, you know, and whatever happens is supposed to happen. I think, and I'm not even sure that that's true, that Mm -hmm. whatever happens is supposed to happen, because Mm -hmm. I think, you know, we make choices. Mm -hmm. Like, I think Mm -hmm. if you guys want it with each other, you're probably going to have to work at that. You you know, like, because because there's just going to be stages where, I mean, you're going to be 35 and Mm -hmm. she's going to be 50 something, Mm and that's maybe gonna offer you a challenge Mm -hmm. of like what what else is in your life but I don't know love is love and that I I kind of so okay I guess this is what I'm saying in a really long way (laughs) I'm not saying it's impossible okay I think the best thing to do is really be honest and communicative about where you are all the time because things will change. Mm -hmm. Things will come up for you where you'll be like, I'm 33 and I want to do whatever. And you're going to need to talk about that. Mm -hmm. And you guys are going to have to be really honest with each other about what is difficult about, you know, about being a woman who's in menopause when you're, you know, 38 or whatever. Like they're real things. But all that said, Finding somebody that you love and you think is beautiful and they think the same of you, that's rare. You kind of think like, oh, I can just get in a relationship with somebody great whenever, and I don't think that's true. So, I'm not saying walk away. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. No. <laughs> I feel like it's a really big deal. No, no, I, I appreciate your advice, honestly. It really did help, you know, I, and it, because it's a, it's a touchy subject, you know, on, on both sides. So, that's why I say you really can't predict anything or, or, or place anything you just have to see where it leads I know? think in terms of the sisters you know you just have to know that whatever they say yeah. is pro- is coming from a place of just wanting their brother to be safe and happy mm-hmm. and it's l- like this is my opinion yeah. you can still love someone and not agree with their opinion yeah very true very so true. Yeah. they're gonna land wherever they land mm-hmm. the most important thing is how you and your woman mm-hmm. communicate and go forward and I would say the the most pressing issue is probably children Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm sure she knows that yeah I'm I'm sure she's thinking oh my god I'm with this fabulous guy Mm -hmm. what am I doing where is this going and and I mean that's what I would be thinking I'd be thinking okay here's this fabulous guy that makes me so happy but he's so much younger and he has Mm -hmm. so much life to live where is this going Mm -hmm. And then you have two things. You can either say, I'm gonna cut it off now, mm-hmm. or you can say, I'm gonna be my best self and live my best life until this isn't here anymore, and then that will be what it is. I think that's the better that's choice. The one, yeah. I think that's the better choice. Because you don't know what, like I said, you know, you could get hit by a bus yeah. tomorrow, yeah. like yeah. you don't know. Yeah. Very true. I think people, now look, I'm talking myself out of it. I think people protect themselves from pain, mm-hmm. or at least they think they're protecting themselves from pain, mm-hmm. you know, by going like, I can't be in a relationship with somebody that much younger. And maybe you can. Yeah. Says who, huh? Say yeah, who. says who, right? 
Exactly. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Says who? Says who. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yes, yeah, yes, no, yes, it was so you. great yes, to yes, meet you. you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank I really appreciate it. No problem that was, at all. Yes. And good luck. Yes, and, thank you. I appreciate it. I'll keep you updated. She's lucky. I want it. I'm in the neighborhood, <laughs> yeah, so you, you know. can keep me updated. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Well, thank you again. I'm here at Urban Radish, which is the best grocery store in downtown Los Angeles, and we have shot a whole series of van therapy episodes here, so make sure you subscribe, and you'll be the first to know when a new one's up. Oh, this is passion fruit. I am passionate about passion fruit. It's my favorite. <laughs>